Hi there. Okay, um, another another one of the um, basic skills videos, and this one covers flasher relays. Now you might have seen this um, in a previous video that I used for I can't remember now um, amps, volts, whatever it was, testing. Um, it's a three-pin flasher relay, and they they wire up a bit different, and these often cause mechanics confusion as to how they work. Um, and often get misdiagnosed. Now, there's basically a couple of kinds of flasher relay. You've got your old traditional armature style that's got a little coil in there, and um, the wattage of the bulbs in the indicators, essentially what we call the load, will affect how fast this flasher relay uh, flashes, the frequency of its flash. And a common problem is when people, on, especially on motorcycles, they change, and I've seen it on trucks too actually, they change the bulbs from a standard sort of uh, traditional bulb with a filament to LED bulbs. Now LED bulbs uh, use a lot less wattage, they consume a lot less power, which means that this relay flashes a hell of a lot faster uh, and often will be um, insufficient. It can't, uh, basically the, the flash rate is way too fast. For a warrant of fitness or, or an MOT in England, it's just flashing too fast, and that's illegal. Uh, and if you're going to go down the LED bulb line, you do need to change the relays, and you need to use an electronic relay like this one here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to wire up uh, a very basic three-pin flasher relay, and we're going to use the old school one. I'm not too concerned at the moment. We might interchange this and see if this works. I don't even know if this thing still works anymore, but we can give it a go. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. Okay, first of all, wiring diagram time. Okay, so on the particular relay, we've got some numbers, just like on the 4-pin uh, relays. We've got a 31, a 49, and a 49. 31, 49, 49, a Now, 31 always relates to uh, battery uh, negative, to earth. So we've got these three, these three terminals, and this one is 31, this one is 49, and this one is 49A. Now, like I said before, that one needs to go to battery negative, so I'll just put an earth symbol on there. This one is your 12 volts in, that's your supply, 12 volts. And this is the wire that goes out to your various you know, bulbs in the circuit. Obviously, this vehicle's only got two bulbs. Okay. And again, after the bulbs, you go down to ground. So it really is quite simple. Okay, now inside that relay, um, there's a coil of wire, just like in a, a, what we call an armature in a, in a normal um, mechanical type relay. But there's also a bimetallic strip. And what happens essentially is the contact which connects the current uh, from the supply to the bulbs, which let's say we've got a contact coming down here like this and it's you know, making contact onto there and it's being closed because of the, the little windings down here. And when it's closed and there's current flowing, that bimetallic strip pulls away and it breaks contact. And then it cools down and it makes contact again. And then it warms up and it breaks contact and, it, you know, and so on. And that, that's essentially how it works. Okay, so let's wire it up and see in action, see if it's going to be working for us. So 31 is battery negative, so we'll put a little fly lead on there. And we'll just double it over to that because it's a bit, uh, a bit short. Stick that onto battery negative. And we've got battery positive, which is 49. Now obviously that would normally go through a fuse. And that goes onto battery positive. Now, if we turn the power on, We've got nothing happening, okay? Because there's no load. If we grab a bulb, and we'll use this one here, this is our old trusty brake light bulb, that's 21 watts, which is most cars have a couple of 21 watt bulbs and usually maybe a 5 watt as well in the circuit. Uh, this one here can cope with, can it tell me? Yes, it does tell me. It's got uh, two 21 watts uh, plus some 5 watts, doesn't say how many is basically what it's rated for. So we'll stick that on there. That's the, the, the feed out to the indicator circuit. And then of course, we've just got an earth to put onto that bulb as well. So we'll use a white for that earth there. Now we don't need to run it all the way back to the battery. We've already got earths 
just here look a little earth pack so we'll just stick it on there and there you go flasher relay working now uh, as you can see that's flashing a little bit too fast if we uh, that's a 21 watt bulb if we increase the wattage say if we were to use two of those then we'd end up with 42 watts and that bulb would flash lower and I've got a bulb which is about 55 watts we can put that in circuit and see how that affects the frequency of the flashes so we um, just to recap that's the flash rate of a, using a single 21 watt bulb normally on a car you'd get at least two of those in the circuit and I've got here uh, a 55 watt bulb so this is just slightly more than two of those it's basically equivalent to two of those and a couple of five watt bulbs as well so this would really represent in a single bulb the same load as two 21 watt filaments and a couple of five watts too near enough so I'll just take that out of the circuit get rid of that and again with a bit of bulb doesn't matter which way around we wire this up pop the earth on there look positive on there so we've now got 55 watts of, uh, of load and you can see now that the flash rate is a lot slower um, that's about right frequency should be between 1 and 2 Hertz for, uh, for indicators on a vehicle now what happens if we go below 21 watts let's try and mimic the problems we're going to have uh, if we were for example using LED bulbs okay so we'll disconnect that and um, we're going to put this one back in circuit again but instead of using the brake light filament we're going to use the uh, the park light filament now the park light filament is uh, only 5 watts it's a 21 stroke 5 watt bulb which means that we're going to have a much reduced draw uh, much reduced current flow through um, the output circuit of the relay and let's just see what happens there you go so it's not flashing anymore we've we've dropped below the threshold uh, that this relay can actually cope with and now if we change this and we fit maybe it's not going to work but we'll give it a go we'll fit the the LED flasher relay okay which has a maximum of 30 watts we'll see if that can actually operate that such a small load okay so after a little bit of investigation work the P on the uh, on this particular Navara uh, electronic flasher relay uh, basically relates to a warning lamp on the dash and it says that that can be up to five watts so we'll wire that in uh, and we'll see if we can get this thing to work if it isn't going to work hey it's going to go in the bin because I have a, a feeling that this is probably not going to work let's give it a go anyway so we had 49 we know 49 is our 12 volt feed so that's that one there onto there 49a is the output to the bulb which is that one there now in theory it should already work just like that turn the power on and it's not okay okay so I've got a little 5 watt bulb in this old bulb holder I'm gonna rig that up now we need to take a feed that's the feed from there and then that's gonna go down to earth okay so earth is lots of earths going on that one there okay yep yeah, as I suspected everything's wired up and it ain't working this relay is scrap job done in the bin so there you go, flasher relays. Um, you can actually get two pin flasher relays as well. Uh, and essentially, you just got your 12 volts coming in and the other terminal goes off to the bulbs, through the bulbs, and then you worth it at whatever switch you're using. Real simple. Um, I hope you found that as a, a good insight into wiring up flasher relays and the different kinds of flasher relays. And if you're using LED bulbs, you need to use electronic flasher relays, otherwise they're gonna flash too fast. Um, 
I wouldn't recommend playing around with silly resistors in all the circuits just to try and um, compensate for the reduced um, current flow to LEDs and try and keep the existing flasher relay. It's so much easier just to change, change out the flasher relay, put a new electronic one in there, and you don't need to mess around with all that soldering and stuff. Just an unplug and plug in. Job done. Simple. Keep it easy. The more components you have on your vehicle, the more chance something's going to fail. And when it does fail, the harder it is to diagnose whatever the fault is. Okay, my name's Andy Young. I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. This is one of my family of basic skills videos. It's just designed as an insight into making a start into doing something. It's not a decisive video. It doesn't go on for an hour like some of my videos do. So hopefully it's been of help to you. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.